Hey and welcome back to my crash course. Today we're covering variables. So first thing to notice is I've already written out a few variables. First one that you use a lot is int, which is just an integer between these values here, which I can't even say. And uh, first thing, so, right, so this is how you work it out. Integer is variable type. A is the name of the variable. I could have that anything at, that could be giraffe, int giraffe equals five, or int cheese equals five, it doesn't matter as long as when I print it out, I put cheese or giraffe. Next is equals five. That's how you initialize a variable to a value. If you don't initialize the variable, it's got gobbledygook in it and it doesn't work very well. So always initialize your variables. Long is just an even bigger version of int. Obviously it takes up more memory. And this time I've initialized it underneath, which you can do, although generally it's better and nicer to do it the way above. Now the floats and the doubles, these are fractionals. So if I had something like 29.5 and I put an A, it would round it up to 30. Whereas if I used a float and put C equals 29.5, it would keep it as 29.5. Same with double, it's just light long, a bigger one. There are more than these, but these are the most common. Next is a, a boolean, which is just true or false, one or zero, if you're an electrician. Then uh, they'll, I'll, they'll cover that more in if statements, etc., because that's where it really comes into play. Now, the last one that I've put here is a string, and a string isn't really a variable type. It's not a primitive variable type, it's an object, but most people use it. A string is basically just text. Hello. So that, that's a string, and although it's not a variable, people will call it a variable, so I thought I'd just cover it in this video. It's an object. When I cover objects, I'll talk more about it. And that's two minutes. 